Hello guys, I'm gonna do a review on the Kodak Brownie Hawkeye camera flash model. Let's get into it. Now this is a camera that was uh, in production in the 50s by Kodak and it is under the Brownie um, series. It just takes 620 film and is a twins lens uh, waist level viewfinder camera. It is also a box toy camera, so you can see it is in fact a box. And this is the flash model. So that means uh, accessory had a flash. Uh, so it was one of those old bulb flashes that was one time use. Uh, and uh, this is the port and this is the tightening screw. So this is this is a tightening screw that does nothing. All you really need if you have an old um, flash bulb flash, uh, you just plug it in there. There we go, right here. And the aperture on here, if I can focus up in here, this would be um, around f11 to f15 from what I read on the internet. And this camera also had only two um, shutter uh, shutter settings, which was 1 30th and vault mode. So you would uh, go up here, then you would see long exposure, L for long exposure, and then you would just hold it down and then it would hold it open, and then as soon as you let go, it would close. So, and then you would proceed to put that back down. <clears throat> and like I said before, this takes 620 film. And you can even see here in the back, this is where you would look at your viewing paper. I mean, back the paper on the 120 or 620 film, whichever, whichever you're using. And now, let's look at the top. This is your view, uh, waist level viewfinder. This is the only viewfinder here. And it's inverted, so it's like any this is a mirror so let's go open it up and it does come with this vinyl strap in I've never seen any other Kodak brownie that doesn't have this so, so let's uh, open it up there's lock position and uh, do that and it would uh, take it back out. there's the backing you can see uh, the red window here is uh, the inside the camera, so you can see the shutter working there. Long exposure bulb. There you go. You can see that a little bit better. And if we look on the bottom here, we can see load with Kodak 620 film. But we do know that this this does work with 120 film. I'll show you some shots I did later with uh, one. Uh, 120 film with the uh, expired uh, Kodak Ektar 100. And here is the camera's camerosity code. So camerosity is a, they, Kodak basically took uh, camerosity, um, the fictional word, and assigned a, uh, a number to each one. So this is Y-O-R-M, so that would correspond to 0653. So this camera was made in June of 1953. Turn it back around. This is where you would put your spool of already um, loaded film. And this is your take-up spool. And the uh, warning here, you could only use 620 take-up spools here. So if you buy any of these cameras, make sure you have a 620 spool to put in the take-up spool. You cannot use a modern uh, 120 on here. It just won't fit. And here is the um, film winding knob, so you can turn this uh, counterclockwise, and you cannot go back uh, to prefer to prevent you from doing, you know, whatever. That does have an arrow, so it tells you. That's good. And just to show you guys, here is a modern uh, 120 spool, and we can put it in the top here. And it fits. So it does wobble around a bit, but when you have the film in there, it actually presses on this plate down here, and it gives you tension, so that you'll actually be able to wind it up pretty good. And for the type of film you guys will be using, I recommend using this camera with 100 speed film, either black and white or C41. And right now I have a Kentmere Pan 100 film. So I recommend um, 100 speed film. If you're outside, this would be ideal for sunny places. If you're using 100 film inside, you better have the flash because it, it'll be too underexposed. 
close it up there. Lock it. And that's that camera. Here are some shots I took with it. shots with it and I truly recommend you guys uh, would either seek out one of these on eBay or you know uh, thrift store thrift stores pawn shops if you find uh, any Kodak um, if you find this specifically this would take 120 but if you were to use a 620 I don't believe a 120 spool will um, go up so I recommend going to your local camera shop and see if they have film photography project 620 rolls it, which is basically just 120 that's spooled onto a 620 spool. The only difference between 120 and 620 are the spools. Though. The film is the same. So that's that's all of it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, hopefully you found this helpful. So see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.